Eamon O'Keefe, 30 seconds to put your question. Minister, as you know, there has been great concern in Connemara regarding both the proposal to award new prospecting licenses and also to renew old ones. And I think we need clarity about the process that's going on, the date that these decisions will be made and how far you've gone with the evaluation of the applications and the number of applications. Deputy, um, the department currently, just for the record, have no new prospecting licences uh, applications for the Connemara electoral area. In March 2019, Gold Note Minerals requested an extension of three existing prospecting licences, which has held since uh, the 21st of June 2013. My intention to renew these licences was published in the Connacht Tribune on the 26th of July 2019 and was open for consultation for 30 days. These licences covered the following townlands in Galway, uh, Breenon, Carragarif, Claggan, Cornamona, Cor, Derreen, Dukta, Duras, Drumasno, uh, Ferna, Glanlusk, Craigans, Kilmicklean, Lee, Maum West, Monin Moor, uh, Munchuron East, Munchuron Middle, Ra, Chernick Hill North and Chernick Hill South, and I hope I've pronounced them all right for you, uh, Deputy. Details including a map for the licence area was available for inspection at Clifton and Mayam Garda stations, Galway County Council offices, and at the Geological Survey uh, Ireland office in Dublin. The notice was also published on my department's website, and the application remains under consideration by my department, and a decision is expected in the coming weeks. Minister. The whole idea of even considering issuing mining licences in an area like that baffles me. Because as you know, what you're talking about here is the Man Valley and the Cardamona area, and it's contiguous to La Carib, and a lot of the land around it, including the full lake, are SACs. And it's hard to see how mining is compatible, reading all the literature, with the preservation of the incredibly sensitive uh, ecology of the area. Minister, why isn't there a policy, as you have for the national parks, as you have for Crow Patrick, that would say that in areas that are designated SAC, SPA or NHA, that no mining, no new mining would be allowed in the future? Wouldn't that be a much more honest way of dealing with the issue, not only for the mining companies, because they wouldn't waste their money mining for, my, for minerals they could never mine, but also for the local communities who have had the burden of these designations and should, you would think, at least be sure that having lived and preserved the designations, that they would be the beneficiaries in terms of nothing being allowed in the area that would damage these very, very important ecological areas. Thank you, Deputy Aristotle. Yeah, well, I just, I suppose, um, to reiterate, a prospecting licence relates to a prospecting only and does not give the licence holder permission to mine. I think we have to, uh, uh, I suppose, restate that. Also, um, th there is, a, a, at the moment, it's, a, it's, it's the prerogative of these uh, mining companies or prospecting companies to actually apply for the licences. And we have to deal with the applications, and we have a public consultation process in that. And I suppose a number of submissions were, were, were received during the consultation process, and there were also a number of representations and queries from local people and politicians, in addition to an online petition which gathered over 5,000 signatures. The submissions are currently being reviewed, and a decision on whether to renew these licences is currently under consideration. Uh, so I think that, uh, you know, uh, a lot of the, uh, the issues that were raised included, uh, you know, prospecting will damage the environment, the threat posed to tourism, threat to farming. All of these will be taken into account in the, in the evaluation process. Thank you. Uh, so I think it's important to, to say that this process is being looked at, looked at in, in an open way, and that there's nothing hidden here. And these are protect, uh, pro prospecting licences only. Final comment, Deputy O'Keefe. Minister, the state made a decision that they wouldn't even look for 
prospecting licences or bids for prospecting licences in national parks and in Crow Patrick for the very reason that they would never issue a mining licence there anyway. And my question is very, very simple. Why doesn't the same principle apply in relation to areas that are designated SACSPA? That's a very, very simple question because it would be utterly rational that one of these areas would be protected and it's not possible that mining would be compatible with the preservation of, these, uh, of the status of these areas. And on the other hand, it is stupid to say to me, well, they're only prospecting licences, but no disrespect, Minister, because why would a company look for a prospecting licence if there was no chance, because of the designations of the areas, that they would ever be granted a mining licence? So the presumption is that the companies must believe they'd get a mining licence, and these are powerful entities, because otherwise why would they bother wasting their money looking for the prospecting licence and actually doing the prospecting? Very much. Final comment. Right. Just, uh, just to I suppose, give clarity, uh, it is the policy of the department not to issue any prospecting licences over national parks or uh, as published by the National Park and Wildlife Ser uh, uh, Service. In certain sex, uh, exceptional circumstances, the National Parks and Wildlife Services may agree to the issue of a prospecting licence over an area which contains part of the National Park, which will enhance the knowledge and be of interest to the National Park. Um, exploration activity within or close, in close proximity to a special area of conservation, SAC, or a uh, special protection area, SPA, require prior permission from the department. This involves submitting a screening for appropriate assessment report specific to the proposed activities, a stage one screening for appropriate assessment would then be carried out specific to the exact location and conservation uh, objectives of the special uh, protection area, uh, um, the SAC and the uh, SPA. Any proposed drilling or trenching, regardless of its location within the prospective licence, requires screening for appropriate assessment by the competent authority, the Exploration and Mining Division of the, de of the Department. Drilling submissions are also required to be assessed to determine whether the screening under the EIA directive is necessary. So there is a, a, a good suite of, um, I suppose, hurdles to be jumped before you get the prospective licence.